Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is Happy Mail Monday and I have this box from Amber's Crafts that I thought I was going to need a forklift to carry out. No joke. This thing is happy <laughs> when she wanted to get her bang for her buck on this shipping. She got it. So let's see what we have in here. I already know there's Reader's Digest in here, and that's probably what's contributing to the weight. Because Amber is like me, she can't keep a secret. And I can't cut a straight. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Seriously, I can't cut a straight line this morning. Probably because I was up until 6 a.m. with my allergies, taking breathing treatments, and laid down at 6 and got up at 11. So I am not feeling it. Okay. She did not retaliate by wrapping it the way I wrapped hers. Whoa. Oh my goodness. There's a little card. I'm going to set this aside and read it later. Oh my God. Amber, I love it. I absolutely, positively am in love with it. Look at this. She made me a journal. Amber, I am so proud of you. Oh, look at this. An envelope shoved full of tags and little embellishments. And Oh, I love it. Look at here. Girl, you just getting the hang of everything. Oh, Saturday Evening Post. Amber, did you make this? Oh, girl. I can't wait to use it. And I'm going to use it. Yes, I am. This is going to become my very special journal. I love it. I absolutely love it, Amber. You did a bang-up job on it. Look at this. Oh. I am so proud of this. Amber, I don't want to hear you say you can't do anything else. And look at this material. Isn't that amazing? I love the spine. Yeah, I need to look at this a little closer and figure out what's fine. See, we have a stencil. Oh, it's a bag. This has been cut. Look at that. Put a little tea light down in there. That will be adorable. Oh, my goodness. I've been looking for these. I have not been finding any of the old patterns with the ladies' dresses. So she sent two of these. Wow. Amber. A National Geographic. <laughs> you heard me fussing about the lady at the flea market. Oh, some calendar pages. Oh my goodness. Maps. Oh, there's this beautiful napkin. Ooh. -hoo. I love that. That's going to get beautiful with that lace I got from Elizabeth Brewer. Saturday Evening Post. You know, I never see these down here. That's unusual. And it just dawned on me, I never see them. Some sheet music. Are these stamps are coffee stained? I can't tell, but it's coffee stained paper. It's got some little design in it. Oh, there's another sheet of it. I love it. Wow, happy journaling. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of paper is this? That almost feels like it has material like cotton to it. Wow, great job. Oh, look at this stain. And now, come on, Amber, you gotta teach me how to do this. You need to do a video, start to finish, of your staining, because mine's not working. Oh, I've seen her show these and I kept saying man I'd love to have one of those because 
West Virginia is, look at these. Red is Nicholas's favorite color, so you know this is going in a book for him. Oh, look at this picture. This book, these books that she has for West Virginia, guys, she ought to open an Etsy shop and just sell them. Oh, look at here. That's going in a book for Nicholas, too. He loves trains. Wow. Thank you. I love it. Arizona Highways. Cool. Whoa, great pictures. Amber. Golden Seal, West Virginia Traditional Life. You know, my ancestors came, some of my ancestors on my mother's side are from, um, oh, it starts with a K. Kiwana or something like that. County in West Virginia. It's not Kiwana. I know it's not Kiwana. This is so cool. Well, yeah, I'm going to read this one before I use it. Wow, I love it. Thank you. I love it. I really love it. Oh, Amber. One. Two. Is this a Reader's Digest? Yep. Three, four Reader's Digest. And I just got six of them, I think it was, at the thrift store so I'll be able to put mine into giveaways. Bestseller Reader's Digest Condensed Books. We have one of these at ours but it wasn't priced. The Summer Girls and Missing Child. Hey did you tear pages out of this one? This looks like something I want to read. Ooh big print too. I might have to read this one before I use it. And a map. Italy. Italy. My husband's family's homeland. Oh, Amber. I may have to go buy a poster frame and frame this one and not use it because this is my husband's. My husband and his siblings are first generation. American. His father came over when he was 11 years old and his mother actually, his father's mother actually never learned to speak English. Um, and when my husband was born, his mother refused to allow her children to speak Italian. So my husband is a full-blooded Italian who cannot speak a word of Italian and is allergic to tomatoes. Have you ever in your life, I told him that I mean, he better check the mailman's DNA because an Italian allergic to tomatoes? But there's a story behind that too. He wasn't always. He had chemo in the 90s and became allergic. Anyway, I love everything in here, Amber. You did a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the West Virginia books. And really, I am going to read this one, and I'm going to read this one. If I get halfway through this book, and there's pages in this one, I'm just going to laugh. <laughs> okay. Um, this is, whoops, this is the Monday Happy Mail for this week. I only got the one thing from Amber, which is great. I love it. And I will see you soon. And I'm going to keep everything right here in this box except for the two books I want to read because what I want to do is I'm going to make an amber journal and that's what I'm going to start doing with all the happy mails is will become journals and it will be named after the person that sent it. So, that's my plan for right now and I have some projects coming up I'm real eager to share with you so I shall be back soon. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. I love it all.